did they want you? I mean, presumably they're they're threatening your family because they want something from you. They wanted okay. me to change so, my so position. Like that was the position on what? Give me well, an example. So, for example, we had been debating uh, the PRC's genocide. Uh, in Xinjiang Liar. in early 2021. The that's right. Okay, so th yes. the, the PRC has yes. been committing a genocide against some 20 no million Uyghur Muslims yes. who live in Xinjiang province in the western part of the People's Republic of China. These 12 million individuals have been subject to detention camps, forced Where's labor, proof forced this? sterilization, and a whole range of genocidal activities yeah, that are and going the on. And called it a genocide. That's right. So yes. we've been debating this. It's been put to a vote. Um, I don't think this is, uh, these sanctions are going to work. In fact, all they're doing is drawing attention to these violations of human rights. There are some 12 million Uyghurs in Western this? China that are being subject to a genocide. China has built hundreds of detention camps, housing millions of Uyghur Muslims simply for being Muslim. It's unacceptable in this day and age, just some 75 years after another horrific genocide for us to see this happen again. And so we have to call it out for what it is. We cannot turn a blind eye to these kinds of human rights violations. So, Michael, what steps are you going to take now? I'm going to continue to speak up. I will not be silenced uh, in speaking up against these human rights violations in China, against China's violations of international law. China is violating the 1948 Genocide Convention. It's violating the 1984 Joint Declaration between China and the United Kingdom. And I will not be silenced in speaking up against these violations of international treaty. I call on the Liberal government to do the same, to speak up and stand up for human rights both here and abroad, and to uphold the international rules-based order. We cannot allow a state actor like China to thumb its nose at international treaties. If we do that, the entire global system of rules-based treaties will fall apart. Uh, that's why it's important that we take a stand, and I think we should continue to do that even in face of these sanctions. Mm -hmm. Well, you just mentioned the fact that you would like to see the Canadian government take a stand. What's the likelihood of that happening in your, in your opinion? Well, I don't know is the short answer. Uh, we continue to put pressure on the Liberal government to take a position on this genocide. Uh, we note that they often talk about that they talk about working multilaterally with our allies, but often, when given the chance, don't. The United States has formally recognized that what is taking place is a genocide in Western China, and we call on the Liberal government to join our ally, the United States, and do the same. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us this afternoon. I know this is big news. We really appreciate you speaking to us once again. That is Conservative MP Michael Chong. Thanks again, Michael. Thank you. I've been asking for proof of the Uyghur genocide over and over again, but I'm not getting any. All I'm getting is people sitting in front of a camera crying and claiming that their family is missing, mostly women. Then we have the infamous satellite images showing just random buildings in Xinjiang or in random construction sites. Wow, and last but not least, we got the man in the blue shirts claim which is actually the title image of the Uyghur genocide, how ironic. I debunked it a while ago. It's actually a drug rehab center, as you can read here. If you know Chinese, it is easily debunked. So then a few people accused me of sharing propaganda, of saying lies, of saying untruths. So you don't need to believe me. That's the point. I'm telling people to make their own research and their own conclusions. You don't believe me? Go on Google. 
Take in, for example, Adrian Sands. See who he's connected to, who he has ties to, who he has been working for, and so on. What he has been publishing. All that type. You can do the same for organizations such as World Uyghur Congress. Just take a look. Funded by NED or RFA, funded by US Department. It's so easy. Actually, they mention each other. Every organization, Uyghur organization or human rights organization, they have ties to each other. They don't hide it. It's even written on their website. Uh, for example, for the NED, it's written how much money they spend in each region. It's incredible, but people still deny it. And of course, United States has always been a Muslim lover, right? Um, why would you support the US? Just casually asking. Then there have been people threatening me verbally and physically. Of course, I expected that, especially showing my face, especially uh, some people know which country I'm in. So I wasn't surprised. But what I was surprised about was the fact and the background of these attacks. Mostly Muslims, mostly Islamic extremists threatening me, telling me bad things. For example, inshallah, we will unalive you. I'm not saying a K word because TikTok will censor me. So this just proves my point that there is still Islamic extremism. Yes, actually these people contributed to prove my point. So I kind of say thank you for attacking me, but it's just, it's 50-50. I'm not glad about it, but it helped to prove. Like, comment, hello, share for more. That the presidents are watching a live performance that's actually trying to get them interested in art and to stay away from drugs. Again, this is a drug rehabilitation center. center. Uh, if you look up on the script on the stage there, you'll see live dancers, and then on the screen, there are eight characters. It says Yong Bao Ji Shu Yuan Li Du Pin. Yong Bao Ji Shu Yuan Li Du Pin. That actually literally means embrace art, stay away from drugs. Embrace art, stay away from drugs. So literally, their strongest and only piece of photographic evidence of genocide in Xinjiang is very quickly debunked. And it is that simple. 